Yeah! Oh, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Woo, we're home. We're working on the lodge, and boy, do I have a lot of new stuff to show y'all between the uh, South Dakota videos and, uh, man, just being home and having both Gerald and Drew here. Yes, Drew, you haven't met him yet. He is the new guide at Sand Hill. We're all here permanently throughout the whole season. Drew, Gerald, they're both living here. And it's weird. <laughs> we got dogs all over the place. It's weird for me because uh, it's all really just coming together. And um, thank goodness they're here this early because there's a bunch to finish up. I'm gonna show you some projects in the, uh, in the lodge that we're finishing up. I'm gonna show you some huge projects in the, uh, in the back. I'm calling it the guide shack now. It's the guide slash decoy shack. We got rooms in there for both of the guys both Gerald and Drew. But before we get into today's video, I want to remind y'all, the ducks goose calls, the one that I've been chirping on all the time, they're back in stock. A bunch of y'all been asking, they're available. Go pick them up, I'll link them down in the description. Everything's linked down in the description below. Let's go inside and see what's going on. We found a feather. You, what'd you find? A feather. A feather? What kind of feather is that? It's a duck feather. That's a duck feather? It looks like a goose feather to me, Bubba. There you go, you can have it. Wait. What are you doing here? I'm chilling. <laughs> Old dad, man, he's been here helping uh, this whole last week wrap up the last of these projects. We've had a lot, had to have a lot of hands on deck getting it done. What I want to show you first of all is, okay, I don't think you guys have seen the new refrigerator. I got a huge one. It is awesome. Look at all this space. We already got it full of all kinds of treats. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, new stove, finally in, got it working, uh-huh, matching, uh-huh, matching. Getting somewhere, everything works yeah. now. We're up and running, aren't we, bub? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where'd she go, where'd she go? Is she in here? Not in here, check this out though. Oh, there you are. What are you doing, you're behind the door, you weirdo? Working, eh? Oh, that looks good, here, I'll hold, here. Thanks. There you go, go ahead. But this is what we've been doing. Getting all the last things done. Check out the new bathroom. It looks amazing. The one thing I can't find right now is uh, new covers for these lights. Yeah, they look normal, but oh, they're a dip here. Hold on, you're not level. Go up on the left. Yeah, check it out. Old Preston's uh, little gag gift. Thought it'd be a good spot for it. Everything's up and running. Washer, dryer, towel racks. Uh-huh. It's, it's here. We did it. We actually did it. We did it. We did it. We did. I can't believe it. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. So exciting to see it all coming together. Yeah, it's very exciting. So today is Friday. Um, right now I'm not working because I'm filming. Uh, but that's this is all we've been doing. Uh, I've been struggling to get the videos up just because I've been so busy with uh, with all this. Check out this bathroom. We got it all done, ready to go. Put a new light fixture up. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's happening. It's literally all ready to go. Now this room here, uh, we took out this big shelf. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep it two separate beds. We're gonna probably turn this one this way and turn that one that way, or vice versa. But then we'll have an option for couples. And what I mean by couples is these two beds will slide together and they'll join up into one big old comfy bed. So this will be a nice secluded room. Real uh, real private, it'll provide a lot of privacy. What do you got? I was just gonna tell you that that's not gonna work there. Yeah, I know, Dad said I had to cut that off. Yeah. What I'm gonna have to do is screw it on the inside. cut that off and screw it on this side. Yeah. The other, the wooden doors though worked good. Oh yeah. Here's, uh, here's the room that Gerald and Drew have been staying in. This room's a finished room, completely finished up, except for we got some hangers to put up and we need to put a chair. We bought fans for every room. Just wanted to give you a walkthrough and show you like, it's it's here, it's it's going. Look at this, yeah, one of y'all sent me that picture, painted that, me and old Frederick. Sandhill flyways up in the clouds. Oh yeah, I'm loving it, man. Got this one up, one of y'all sent me as well in the P.O. box. If, uh, again, I haven't told you guys in a while, if you guys wanna send decorations or anything, 
uh, send it to the P.O. Box. My P.O. Box is linked down in the description below. I love getting y'all's gifts. Literally, this was a gift. All these antique decoys, gifts in the P.O. Box. All these gifts, gifts. All these antique decoys, gifts, 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 gifts that you guys have sent. Look, calls that you've sent, more decoys that y'all sent. I got them all up on the wall. Believe me, I, I really cherish uh, what you all send, especially when it's nice uh, decorations for the lodge or something antique, you know. Uh, and we have this nice little decoration that Beth put together, the antique decoys. And hold on. hi, bub. And over here, one of y'all sent these decoys with this old burlap decoy bag. Were you? I'm using all of them. What are you doing over here? What? You like the geese? Ooh. Yep, we got more geese up here. So, Ooh. see that one right there? That's mine. And that's mine. You guys haven't seen them. Those are two very, very, very large adult snow geese. And I just held on to them forever because I wanted to mount them. They're big, white, and perfect. <sighs> just to run through. Uh, I don't know. I think I've showed y'all. I believe so. Drop a comment down below. I, let me know if I've showed y'all, but I'll show you real quick. The stairs, look how nice they are. They came out beautiful. The rope looks so good. That is from y'all, one of y'all sent us. Awesome. Yes, I'll show you the upstairs bedrooms. And then we are going to head out back to the guide lodge and we'll show you what all's going on in there. But here's this room. Now, this one isn't finished in the next day or so. Uh, I have coat racks coming, benches. Uh, we're putting, I think this one we're going to put all sea ducks in. So we're going to put a sea duck over there, 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 there. Hopefully some scoters, long tail, stuff like that. I really want an array of mounts throughout the lodge. Even if I didn't shoot them, it, it don't matter. Here's this one. It's pretty much done. We got the old teal mount up on the wall that you guys sent that as well. Looks really nice. Still got to get the benches. Some hangers. Hi, Bubba. You want to be on the video again? Tell him your name. My name's Bodie. Yep. And, and are you daddy's son? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to be a hunter? Yeah. You like hunting and you want to go, don't you? Yeah. Say, but I'm only three. I'm only three. And we'll do it here soon, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. We just got to wait until Bodhi's just a little older and then we'll go. But um, I think he'll go, won't you? Yeah. You wanna go? Yeah. Right now it's um, it's uh, roughly, uh, I bet you it's like 70 degrees and it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. Yesterday it hit like 80 or 82 and it's November 6th, I believe. That's ridiculous, man. So, uh, long story short, I am a little stressed out with the weather. Um, like I said, our first clients come Monday, so three days, and we'll be doing our first hunt Tuesday. So the weather definitely has me a little stressed. Uh, we got a, not a big, but we got a, a decent push on the last big cold front that rolled down, what, like two weeks ago? It's just been warm, and these birds have been hanging around, and a lot of them have moved out. They've spread out. We need to get cold again so everything bunches back up and we get new birds, so... Starting out, um, we're gonna have to do some driving. Probably do, probably do some a lot of water duck hunts. Uh, the first few hunts, I believe. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, we got the old big old Traeger out here. Now, just uh, I wanted to just mention it. I didn't get to do a lot of outdoor projects this year. The only one that I did get to do is this one, which I don't think I've shown y'all. I asphalted uh, the entire back. So now trailers you know clients it'll be nice uh you won't have sand mud you know but next year so this is my idea for next year next year we're gonna have this is on the back side of the lodge on the north side right here in between these two windows there's a perfect space to punch a door i'm gonna punch a door and then next year we're gonna build a big deck from that ac all the way to that ac and it'll probably come out to about here that way we can have an overhang all lit you know lighting up under there a doorway deck the grill can be on this side a lot of hangout chairs 
because honestly this is a way better view than the south side of the lodge so next year it'll be nicer as far as the outdoor entertainment goes you know but this year we strapped boys <laughs> we are strapped uh, i've cranked out a lot of money just to get this thing going so has gerald so but here we are now if you guys have been here for a while you'll understand that my shot back here was a complete disaster <laughs> yeah like girl said organized mess you know it's one of them things where it's extremely messy but you know where everything's at uh with drew and Gerald's help we have completely cranked this out as well as kurt's help kurt thank you brother been a huge help this entire summer and he didn't have to i mean thank you kurt so here we go we got all of our old dive bombs down here just in case we might need them uh this will be the whole top for you know, exactly charging mojos uh lots lots of charging area going on up there little work area here and we got a new buddy out here that's gerald's looking good yeah uh-huh this was actually sent by one of you guys a subscriber it's called a heat locker he reached out and he was like hey my dad owned this company and we had some extras uh kind of shut down the company do you want one and i'm like heck yeah what it is it's a it's a portable clothes dryer clothes dryer yeah it's really neat right down here you turn her on she fires up and it gets hot in there check this out unzip her like so look at that it's got a rack up there for your gloves and stuff and everything hangs pretty sweet little unit to have out here those rainy days all of us three at least you know we can bring our bibs back here or coats drive our thing out and not have to uh disrupt the dryer up there because i'm sure clients will be using it a bunch but we've been working this is old g's room up here this is gerald's room he's got a door oh look he even got his rug down but this is his little this is his pad man oh and there's oakley girl hi oakley girl what are you doing this girl right here is the sweetest dog i'm telling you right now hi oakley girl hi she's got them braces on her rear legs uh, it was all because of a of an accident and i'm not going to tell you i'm going to let drew tell you guys it's drew's dog and uh she's a really special dog literally the sweetest lab i've ever met but girl yeah he's got a light a door uh-huh the pad baby the pad uh, down here this is drew's room this year he wanted the sliding door action looks like he got that done this morning and this is his this is his pad shack here and uh, oh i already got the sign up couch in here now we got to get drew uh, a nice big rug but oh they did get this all sheet rock that looks good okay okay I've been filming and editing all morning long, trying to get ahead. Just put this shelf up and then got a lot of new shelving up. Just to get, those are a lot of old white decoys, the Wade knives, wanted to get them off the ground. And then we had so many new dive bomb floaters. We wanted to get them hung up per dozen, up out of the way, easy to access. So it's really, really coming along here. This is like the guide, the guide little hangout when we need to get away uh, and have some time to plan to plan the next day. You know, this is where we're gonna sit down, chill, have a beverage, and really just get the next day planned and everything agreed on, so the next morning's hunt just goes flawlessly. You know. Oh, Oakley girl, all these dogs. I'm telling you what, the first two days, this guy did not know what to do. He was like, "Oh, Dad, there's so many new dogs here. What do I do?" He was. He was excited and territorial all at the same time. But now he's calmed down. He's made buddies. It's all over. Now we're good to go. But the new man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> you laugh. You go, Bob, really? <laughs> yeah. Not, not much of a legend. Mostly just fat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Give him a rundown. Where you're from, what you've been doing. Um, just give him the old lowdown on Drew. Well, I'm fat, hairy, and old. I'm from Nebraska. Uh, I've been guiding for about 10 years. Started in Montana doing elk hunts, mule deer hunts. Um, through some cool friends, I've been through about four or five different outfitters and kind of worked my way around. Now he's single. This guy. Oh, he's single. <laughs> yeah. oh, he's single and ready to mingle. What's it? We got to put 
right here. Instagram, <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> oh, we just had us a good old laugh. But here's old Oakley girl. Uh, these braces, she has to wear them quite often. Um, Whenever I, she's like active, like out and around. Yeah. When she's inside, she can take them off. Right. And every now and then she walks around with them, out of, with, with them off too. But if she's gonna be running around and playing with dogs, she's gotta have them on. Right, the first couple of days she didn't wear them and she was running really active with all the other dogs and- Started she, limping a little bit. Yeah, she started limping, but- Drew, give us a lowdown on Ziggs. First off, finish your story before old Beefcake had to announce <laughs> your relationship status. Um, just, just, <laughs> oh God. Just through a lot of good friends. Uh, been working with Gerald for, uh, be five years this year, Gerald. I think so. Uh, worked with him last couple of years in the fall. Been pretty fun. Really excited to be here. So what happened to Oakley? Well, the initial thing to to make our best thing. our best guess is because uh, uh, we were on a duck hunt and it was a super muddy field. Really, really muddy. Like we couldn't hardly drive a four wheeler in it. <clears throat> she was good through all the hunt. And picked everything up and we were getting ready to leave and all of a sudden she's packing a hind leg. Oh so we didn't really know and. Um, through some advice of some people, uh, some dog trainers and some friends or whatever, they just thought it was a sprain. Mm -hmm. let, her, let her rest, rested, rested. Never got any better, so she didn't hunt anymore. <clears throat> Took her home, and then uh, after, oh, it'd probably been five, six months, then the other one, just from all the excessive wear and supporting the other leg. <clears throat> the other one tore and then we I really knew we had to get something figured out both legs where she didn't even want to walk at that point Well, she did but just the angle of her hawk. She I mean they're uh, like this most dogs you see them walk their legs are uh, more like uh, this She was she was walking her legs like were this. really bent trying yep. to walk. Yeah. Yep, because there's no Achilles there to support all that weight, right? right thank you Good shape. Yeah, so she she ripped one Achilles in the field hunting ducks. Was it a water hunt then on a water duck hunt ripped one and then automatically I mean, what was it, within a day, you said, or when she that, ripped it? That morning we were done picking up and she was limping already. But Wait, how long after? In the mud. Oh, and then I ripped the next one. Well, the other one happened when I was at home. Oh. Like six months later. Oh, like six months later, the second one, just because she was favoring it and mm -hmm. using the other one so much more, ripped the second one. So yeah, how long ago was that? About dirty, two years ago. Two years ago In and December. she still wears braces on and off. Yeah, she's had the braces for a year. Um, last September we got them. So these are now are just basically like a sports brace, like a lineman would wear. Yeah. So when she first had them, <clears throat> what they did was this strap here was like pretty much locked like this. See how it changes that angle? Oh, yeah. So it kept it that way, which hyper extended that joint uh -huh. and allowed that tendon to heal itself because she's never had surgery mm -hmm. and allowed that tendon to heal itself. Right. And it had like a big boot, you know, like when people break their foot, it's got a big boot that their foot's in. Yep. These had the same thing on them. So what was, how much was surgery going to cost for both legs? Uh, they never really gave me a price um, just because the, the surgeons that I, I was referred to didn't even like right. consider it because oh. it had been so long. Uh -huh. There's too much scar tissue. They're like, she's got better odds of healing better and being stronger letting it heal itself with as much tar scar tissue but if it had been like right away yeah. they would have done surgery on the one which i think they say is roughly like three thousand dollars Oof. and uh yep well with so, just persistence yep. work and yep. keeping the braces on her mm -hmm. didn't have to do surgery and no. it should, it was, even if you would have done surgery it's one of them things where she it still would have that injury was gonna scar her for life, mm -hmm. no matter what. Well, she had had a pretty good chance of being able to hunt after that. You know, sure. she'd just been laid out for quite a while. They they say yeah. if you do them right away, they're pretty much like 90%. Oh, 90%. I mean, like they're basically, oh, wow. so that leg, if we'd have done it right away, that leg would have been basically okay. Just, gotcha. Gotcha, so. well, she's a good girl. Oh yeah. She's a sweetheart. Oh boy, howdy, we've been working all day for the last, I don't know how many days, but man, it's awesome. I don't know if I showed you this, my kayak. The boys got all that done this morning, the kayak up there. As you can tell, we mopped. Look at this. So we blocked this door off. That was a good call on Gerald's part. Keep this door shut. Um, Tuesday, 
uh, a pretty good cold front's coming in. We haven't had one in a few weeks now, uh, a couple weeks, and uh, it should bring in some new birds. So uh, we're gonna buckle down, keep all the doors shut, keep it warm. One thing I need y'all's help with, drop a comment down below. I need to get a heater in here of some sort, whether it's a wood burner, a pellet burner. I've really been thinking about a pellet burner uh, just because they burn a little cleaner and whenever you need to get some pellets, you go buy them. How are you? Tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> worn out. Some cool stuff that came in the mail. I ordered two more A-frames, brand new. Got to get them brushed in. Over here, check this out. Big shout out to DT Systems, hooking us up with their new H2O dog collar. One for Fred, one for Archer, and then they even sent a backup replacement collar in case we lose one. So, big shout out to DT. Those are not cheap and very nice collars. And then I bought the boys these. Check this out, got three of them. That is a headlamp, y'all. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, ah! Yeah, that's a beast right there. May or may not be the worst $75 I've ever spent. I don't know yet. Woo! Well, it's the next day, and uh, we had one heck of a party out here last night, let me tell you. We had all of our friends over, most of them, and uh, it was a hoot, let me tell you. But Drew, uh, we didn't get to go over what he'll be doing. He'll be scouting a ton, getting permission, helping sit spreads, and helping run the hunt. So. Uh, a lot of my clients, I've, I told them I'm going to be on at least two of the three of their hunts. So that'll leave Drew with at least one of the three days, you know, every three days to be on the hunt as well. But I'll tell you what, Drew does one heck of a job getting permission, finding geese, and always just having a good understanding of what we need to get done. Hi, sis. Hi. Do you just get done with kickball? Yeah. Do you have fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you ready for the clients to come in? Yes. <laughs> I'm actually a little nervous. Uh, we scouted, we, we scouted our butts off today. We found a lot of geese, but we had to drive about 40, 45 miles. Um, today it's supposed to get up to like 78 degrees again. Yesterday it was right at 80. That means the birds aren't hungry, not as hungry, and they just want to get off the water and fly in the mornings. So that's about it. So uh, we're going to try to put together as many good hunts as possible. That is the goal. But thank you all for being here. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. There's like 52.7% of y'all that have not subscribed. Okay. We're going to have a lot of stories coming your way. The stories of the clients, all of the hunting. Lots of memories made right here. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real